Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to calculate the derivative of y equals the natural log of x. And to do this we're going to need to know a rule that comes from the chain rule and it says that dy by dx is equal to 1 over the derivative of x with respect to y. Okay, and we're going to use that in a second. So going back to the formula or the equation y equals the natural log of x, I'm going to make both sides of this equation the power of e. And so we're going to get e to the power of y is equal to e to the power of the natural log of x. And e and the natural log are inverse functions, so they're going to cancel each other out, and we're left with e to the y equals x. So now I've got this, I'm going to take the derivative of x with respect to y. So we get dx by dy equals, well, the derivative of e to the y is just e to the y, right? The same as e to the x is its own derivative, so is e to the y. And so we get e to the power of y, and now I can substitute this into my formula up here to find dy by dx. And I get dy by dx is equal to 1 over e to the y. And if you take a look here, we said that e to the y was just equal to x. And so we get this derivative is just equal to 1 over x. So that's the derivative for the natural log of x. So let's see maybe a slightly more tricky question. So we've got here y equals the natural log of x squared plus 1. So you can see here we've got a function of x inside the logarithm. And so to solve this, we're just going to use the chain rule to find its derivative. Okay, so we can say that u is going to be equal to x squared plus 1, and y is just the natural log of u. So du by dx, well that's just going to be equal to 2x, and dy by du is going to be equal to 1 over u. Okay, because we just worked out the natural log of x. So to find the derivative dy by dx, I'm going to multiply these two things together. So we get 2x over u, and u is equal to x squared plus 1. So we get the answer 2x over x squared plus 1. So earlier I said that this is the natural log with a function inside of it. So let's see if we can generalize this. Okay, So say we have something like y equals the natural log of a function of x like this. Let's see if we can get a rule to help us take the derivative of stuff like this, okay? And so we're going to use the chain rule again. So we're going to say u equals f of x. So then y is going to be equal to the natural log of u. So then du by dx is just going to be f dash of x. And dy by du is just going to be 1 over u. And so multiplying these together to get the derivative, dy by dx, we find that it's f dash of x over u which is just f of x so you can use this rule if you've got any function inside your logarithm just to make it a bit easier so hopefully this was useful if it was subscribe like the video and share it and thanks for watching